Hi, this is Laura from The Scarlet Letter, and I just have been browsing blogs, and I've seen everybody's really exciting readathon piles, and I'm signed up for Dewey's 24-hour readathon tomorrow, and I've been really excited about it, and I have a ton of work to do for work tomorrow, and I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be able to participate, but I couldn't resist doing a post and making a pile and thinking that I'm going to participate at least a little bit and making a pile of 13 books that's totally unrealistic. So I'm actually in the middle of reading two books. I'm reading Stuart O'Nan's Last Night at the Lobster and just finishing up my reread of Frankenstein. I only have a few pages left in each of those, so those will I'm definitely going to try to finish tomorrow, whether they're readathon or not. And then I've made this totally goofy list of 13 books from my readathon pile. So I have um, Winter's Bone, and this is actually I can you know I think I'm going to teach it next semester, so I can justify my reading of that. And I'm also really excited to read it. I've got Dennis Lehane, Moonlight Mile, and I've never um, read Dennis Lehane, and so I've got this one. Some weird glare here. I've got my little Tolstoy novella here, and I've got I, I love these novellas. I did really terrible on the novella challenge, so but I've still got some of these sitting around that I would like to read. I've got A.S. King, Everybody Sees the Ants, and I just saw her read and picked up a couple copies of this book, and I have one to give away too if I finish this book. I've got Earl Dahl's The Witches, so you can see a lot, a lot of these are kind of Halloween themed as I get into them, but this is one of my favorite Earl Dahl books, and I've been talking about wanting to reread it for a really long time, and I finally just bit the bullet and bought myself a new copy, so I might read that. got the first two Vampire Diaries, um, The Awakening and the Struggle. I'm totally addicted to the Vampire Diaries TV show. Got the first bone. I was reading about this, I think, on Books Are My Boyfriends, and I wanted to read it. So, this is my library book, and I like to have a graphic novel for a readathon. Nice, fast read. Got a lot of air season here um, that I'm behind on. I've got J.M. Toline's The Great Lenore, which is a book that. I have been really fascinated by as it sits on my shelf and I've really wanted to read and get started on and I had saved it for October because there's some spooky aspects to it. Um, the Graveyard Book, another one that's been on my TBR and is a nice quick read. like to have some non-fictions. This is a book of essays. My Dead Pets Are Interesting. How Can You Resist That Title? And um, the cover is crazy. I really like it and these look hilarious. I've been leafing through them since I got the book and loving it. My ARC that for no good reason at all I haven't read yet of We the Animals. I've, I was super excited. I've had this for a long time. I was super excited to read it. It's incredibly short and I haven't read it yet. There's no excuse for it at all. I just haven't done it yet. And so it's in my pile for the readathon. Um, another one that I is Halloweeny in nature, actually really scary. It kind of creeps me out. I'm kind of a little bit afraid to read it. But Bed Bugs by Ben Winters, and that's from Quirk Books. And another Quirk book that I've had for a while now, and I have two copies of this, so one to give away as well, um, is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. So I love the creepy cover. I think this will be a quick, fun read as well. So that's my totally unrealistic pile of books for the readathon, and I am super excited to at least do some reading tomorrow, even if it has to be interrupted by other types of work. So good luck for everyone. I'm also signed up to be a cheerleader, so maybe I'll be dropping by your blog to cheer you on. Have a great readathon.